Welcome to the NC Spin After Spin. Additional comments from our panelists just available on our website. Becky Gray, I want to ask you, what do you wish you had said on last week's show, but you didn't get a chance? Well, Tom, when we were talking about the prison situation and moving forward, finding, I think it is a crisis and we're looking for solutions. And I think so many people immediately assume, well, we're not spending enough money or what's different than we need to do. And I think it's important to reflect on what are we doing or what protocols are in place, are we doing everything that we can, that seems to me to be a better starting point than just what new programs or how much more money can we spend. And an example of that would be, we've talked about the mental health issues and those challenging those prisoners. Um, you know, one of the things that we're not doing is we're not making sure that people, are re those prisoners are receiving their medication, appropriate medication, medications on time. You hear a lot about these uproars and the violence in the prisons. Often it's because someone has not received their medication at the proper time and then the proper dose. Also, some of the things that we're doing, research is showing us just exasperate those problems, like putting people in solitary confinement and the statistics on how many of those patients end up with, I mean, just, you know, days and weeks in solitary confinement. And when you've got somebody dealing with mental health issues, they're not receiving their medication, then you exasperate the problem with that. Some of those kind of things are things that need to be addressed as well that doesn't require new regulations, doesn't require a lot of new additional money. It's looking at the protocols that we know are working and let's make sure we're doing those things first. I, I, I looked at this and I, I thought to myself, I don't think they have enough money to pay Secretary Eric Hooks to try to solve these problems. <laughs> I, I gotta tell you, I wouldn't want that job. Which, you know, but that, that's, you know, we talked about Margaret Spellings in this too. I mean, you know, a lot of times, and you know, it's not the amount of money, this is the commitment. I mean, you know, for school teachers, you know, we can't pay good school teachers what they're worth. There isn't enough money in the world. I mean, these are committed public servants yeah. who have taken on these responsibilities. And thank goodness for all of them. Thank goodness for them. Well, thanks for watching the After Spin. We'll have more video all during the week on ncspin.com.